Hi, my name is Stefan and I'm with the company Trading Stars. This company uh, provides a trading education as well as a trading signals in order to direct follow our strategies. Today I would like to introduce a new strategy which is called Regression Lines D1. D1 is already a hint on the time frame we trade this type of strategy. So we trade this strategy on a daily basis. In order to introduce you into this uh, strategy, just a few basics. Um, in general, if you follow technical analysis, you know that the price normally iterates between progression and regression. So the two parts of uh, what is building a trend. This always iterates until a major change in the trend direction occurs. And uh, of course, the best entries uh, are at the end of a correction. Another behavior which you can find in the price of uh, whatever underlying you investigate is that the price oscillates in a um, certain range. Sometimes you realize breakouts and those breakouts might be successful, but also often they are uh, simply back corrected. So uh, that the price goes back into the original range. And the good thing is now that we can trade both um, fundamental and basic ideas in one approach. And this approach is called regression lines. Some of you might know that uh, similar uh, strategies are called mean reversion, but um, how we go into the trades is a little bit different in this strategy. In order to illustr uh, illustrate uh, what is uh, meant here, just uh, two pictures of uh, what I mean with the trend behavior and the more sideways behavior. So in the left part, you can see a clear um, example of a trend behavior. Uh, in this case, it's an H1, so an hourly base of the Euro US dollar. And of course, this trend goes south and it iterates between progression and regression. In the right hand uh, picture, you can see a more sideways behavior. Uh, that means the price oscillates, goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. And it's quite difficult to have good entries. Of course, if you have an entry at a spike uh, and go into the opposite direction, that would be the best. But how can we um, derive trading entries which exactly follow those uh, basic ideas? And the simple answer is that we use what is called a regression line. A regression line is simply the mean behavior over a certain period. A certain period means here a certain number of uh, candles or bars. And in this picture, you have um, a purple line which goes through the, uh, the price curve and um, you see that sometimes uh, the price is uh, below that line, sometimes it's above that line, and it oscillates around exactly that line. And we use this regression line, which is well-defined mathematically, um, in order to have good entries. Whenever the uh, price um, deviates from that regression lines to a certain amount, then we order uh, we, we enter a trade and uh, we enter the trade into the main direction. So that means if the slope of the regression lines is negative, we, are, uh, we open short trades. And if the slope of the regression line is positive, then we uh, enter into long trades. So what do we need for that kind of strategy? We need uh, a certain number of candles um, in order to determine the regression line. And of course, it now follows directly from that line is that we can calculate the variation around this line. So that is uh, straightforward and can be done easily um, by applying some math. Then, of course, we need a criteria 
uh, for trade entries. That means what we want to have is that if the price is um, above a certain limit away from the regression line, then we open our trades. The stop loss itself is then based on the very variation itself, just as a multiplier uh, on the variation. Take profit, of course, uh, all the trades have stop losses and take profits, and we use a certain multiplier um, on the stop loss in order, in order to calculate the take profit. So the, we have a fixed risk reward, reward ratio. All the trades should not be um, as long as I want. So we have what we call a time stop. That is the maximum trade duration for a certain trade. If you calculate the number of degrees of freedom for this kind of strategies, you immediately um, get a number of four. So we have four degrees of freedom, uh, which we optimize for each individual forex pair. And so we can derive some strategies um, by optimization. That you can see a little bit how those trades are entered and um, ended. Um, you can find in this picture uh, the blue line, which is a regression line, which is calculated on the base of the last finished candle. And uh, you see in the history two trades which are represented by the green lines. So uh, of course, you can see that the price has deviated from the regression line to some amount, which is indicated by the small uh, yellow lines. And in both cases, we enter a long trade because the slope of the regression line is positive. And you see that both trades um, have been quite successful. So that's a basic uh, example for this kind of strategy. But now we can look to two other examples, one in the sideways period, uh, which is um, represented in that picture here. So we have finally a slight minus slope. Therefore, we enter always into short trades. And you can see for short trade examples, which have been quite successful. And uh, of course, another example here, when we have the trend phase, uh, then same story. We have a positive uh, slope of the regression line. So we always enter into long trades in this case. And you can see that um, we have multiple orders, multiple trades for one pair. And uh, all the trades have been uh, finally um, very profitable. So that is the basic idea of uh, this strategy called regression lines D1. And uh, since we know the history of that strategy, we have the key figures for that. So we have investigated here a couple of pairs. You can see in the last line of the uh, slide uh, for in total 13 years. And it has been quite successful with a small drawdown. So we have a total profit of um, 2000 uh, R. Uh, and this unit is the risk per trade. And uh, within that history, we have a drawdown, a maximum drawdown of 80. The linearity you of that uh, equity curve you will see in the next slide is very well. Um, and we have um, two other key figures for that strategy. That is that we have about 15 trades per week and the average tr trade uh, length or duration is a little bit more than three days. In our live trading account, which is um, an account with 4,000 euros, every trade uh, has a risk per trade of 25 euros. And uh, we uh, trade a couple of uh, Forex major pairs, you can see in the last line. But of course, you are interested, uh, I think, in 
the equity curve itself, which you can find in this graph. Um, you can see that uh, the quite well linear behavior because we have never reinvested our profits. So the risk per trade is always constant. And um, you can see that, uh, that we have um, phases of a more sideways behavior in the equity curve. And you can see that we have drawdowns, of course, and uh, very profitable periods. So this kind of strategy, uh, you can follow us simply by two methods. One is that we uh, send you emails for every trade uh, entry and um, whenever we close a trade, those emails are distributed uh, at midnight. But since we trade here on a D1 base, you can also place your orders uh, simply in the morning. Another way to follow us is that you use a trade copy system. Uh, this system allows you um, to set your own personal risk parameters and you get uh, our um, account. And that means that you can follow automatically our trades, but to your own, own personal risk parameters. So that's in brief the new strategy, which is called Regression Lines D1. It's a very uh, successful strategy, um, suitable uh, for trend phases as well as for sideways periods. Um, and it's uh, behaving quite well in the history. If you have any further questions, no problem. Just send us an email to info at tradingstars.de and if you like to book that strategy you can find the link here as well and um, of course I want to mention that we run that st uh, strategy at Argos FX uh, because that broker is um, quite well for this strategy. Okay I hope um, you find that strategy quite interesting and uh, I will hear from you as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye-bye.